So you're looking for instant discounts when you book hotels? Check out this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here at TripReview. We try and give you guys advice on tips and tricks and saving money as you travel the world. And so uh, a lot of my friends know that I, for work I get to travel quite a bit. I stay in a lot of hotels, I stay in a lot of Airbnbs, and uh, personally I love to take my family with me and we like to go on adventures and I love to make good memories with them and we travel a lot. Now, with that said, it costs a lot of money when you book a ton of hotels. And so in this video, I wanna show you guys how I save money hundreds if not thousands of dollars over the course of the past year on just booking hotels with this simple trick. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, I just got back from a five, six week vacation trip, work trip, whatever you wanna call it. I spent about four weeks in the Boise, Idaho area and then I spent another week in Mammoth and outside of friends hooking us up with an epic cabin in Mammoth, most of this we had to pay out of pocket. Besides one of the resorts we filmed at, they, they hooked us up with accommodation because that just kind of goes with the package. So. With that said, I wanna show you guys how we saved over $1,000 just by booking hotels in this way. And this way is really simple. All you need to do is book your hotel one to two days before you plan to stay where you were, when you need it. Now this works really well, especially in this era because not only are we getting crazy discounts with hotels, but <laughs> there's not a lot of people traveling. And so the competition for availability isn't really there. So you don't have to worry about that. So what I wanna show you guys with my screen right now, I love to use Priceline just because I personally feel like this shows me the best uh, discounts and it's the cleanest, less spammy. But you can use whatever you like, but I, I find a lot of success with Priceline. I've been using this for the past five years. What I wanna do is, I'm in Southern California right now, but let's just say I want to visit my brother up in Seattle. And so let's visit Seattle and we're gonna book it for this weekend. So the 24th through the 26th, when it's typically peak pricing. And we're gonna find our hotel, and we wanna make sure we're staying at something with the standards. So we're gonna do four star only. So you can guys can see the difference here. And then we're gonna filter this by customer rating, because what I wanna do here is I wanna open up a new tab so we can compare prices from this weekend compared to a month from now, so you guys can see the difference. So we open up a new tab, we're gonna go ahead and create this window here, and we're gonna update the dates to be August 28th through the 30th. We're gonna update the search. Okay, so from the get-go, you see Cedarbrook Lodge, it's the same price. Um, let's scroll down, but as you can see, pet-friendly, you can see the difference already, 131 compared to 156. Um, but let's continue to scroll. So we're gonna go down, you see Grand Hyatt, same price, but you start to see a little bit of difference when you do the Hyatt Regency in Bellevue. I've actually stayed there. Make sure you guys don't drive, you don't have a vehicle because they do not have parking. It's miserable trying to find a space. Okay, as we continue to scroll down, you start seeing a little bit of discounts. Already you're saving 20, 20 bucks, so that's, that's pretty good. You look at the four star hotel, 112 compared to 124, so that saves you a little bit. Let's start looking a little bit more. Let's go Mayflower. Let's compare the May. Maybe where'd the Mayflower go? Hmm. There we go. Mayflower. So you already start to see a little bit more difference. Uh, one twenty-five compared to one forty-two. You're saving thirty bucks out the door just like that. Let's continue to scroll. We have. Oh, that's why. Because I didn't say four stars. Der. No wonder. Okay, we're gonna go back to the Mayflower. So you see the Mayflower here. Um, there we go, Mayflower is up here. So now let's compare the West End, 153 to 179. Now you're starting to see a little bit more discounts. That's about 50 bucks in savings, over 50 right there. Uh, the Sheraton, 172 to 159. Let's, keep, let's look at the Kempton. Well, that's a big deal right there. You got 359 compared to 233. Okay, so as you can see, that's quite a bit of savings right there. That's 120 bucks, 110 bucks right there in savings that you get just by booking last second compared to booking and being a planner. Now, I will say when the world is normal and you know you're gonna go to a city with a lot of events, like maybe like an epic football game or something like that, you don't wanna typically do this method, but for normal travel, accommodation, you don't really care where you stay as long as it's a three star above or whatever. You can, your standards may be a little lower than mine, it's fine, it doesn't matter, no judgment if you wanna stay and save even more, more money. But I just wanted to show you how you could save hundreds if not thousands of dollars if you use this simple trick. Now comment below, let me know how much you've saved, if this video has helped you at all, if you found the best discounts 
uh, just by using this method. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video.